Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to talk about relative velocity. Relative velocity is simply a comparative velocity of one body with the other body. Say for example, I am having two bodies moving with different velocities. Say this is 10 meter per second. This is 5 meter per second. Let me call it like VA. Let me call it like VB where A and B are the bodies and we are the respective velocities. It's very clear that velocity of the A is greater than the velocity of the B. But it's not greater by 10 because VB is already covering a velocity of 5 meter per second, covering a displacement of 5 meter per second. So how much velocity of the A is more than B? That's what do you mean by relative velocity? We can say velocity of the A with respect to B as VA minus VB. It is more only by 5 because 5 is already covered by B. So when compared with B, E is having only extra velocity of 5 meter per second. That means if the two bodies are moving in the same direction, we can calculate the relative velocity by subtracting them. If you want VB with respect to A, velocity of the B with respect to A, that will become VB minus VA automatically. Say if I want velocity of the B with respect to A, it will be VB minus VA. So it will be minus 5, that means it is in opposite direction. Let us consider another scenario, VA 10 meter per second, VB 5 meter per second, but they are in opposite direction. So I would like to now ask the same question how much VA is greater than VB? What I will write? Velocity of the A with respect to B is studied as A with respect to B as VA minus I would write VB but VB is in opposite direction therefore to represent the opposite direction, I have a negative vector minus VB. So, its value will become VA plus so VB. So, simple that if you are finding out the relative velocity of the two vectors in the same direction, we have to subtract. If they are in the opposite direction, we have to add. That is simple. But suppose they are neither in the same direction nor in the opposite direction but there is certain angular separation between them. It is a crucial case that how do you calculate the resultant velo relative velocity in this case. It is simple. I want to calculate velocity of the A with respect to B. But I have to get some common thing into the consideration that who is in common to these two is nothing but ground. So I would like to say ground is common for both A and B. So what I will write is relative velocity of the A with respect to B is relative velocity of the A with respect to ground plus relative velocity of the ground with respect to B. But it is very clear that B is moving on ground but ground is not moving on B. So I want to write it properly. So velocity of the A with respect to B is velocity of the A with respect to ground. As the B is moving on ground, I want to write a reverse vector velocity of the B with respect to ground. This is how we are going to find out the relative velocity of one body with respect to the other body. You might be clear inside, you, might, you need to know probably that uh, these two are the vectors who are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Therefore, I have just reversed the vector, reversed the vector. So I got what? Negative vector. By getting the negative vector, we are actually saying the proper way of expression that uh, it is the body moving on the ground that we are on the ground on the earth and the ground is not moving on the body. This is the basic concept of the relative velocity of the vectors uh, and we can apply to different scenarios depending on the scenario, the problems that whatever we are going to face. Thank you. We will continue this further in the next post.